Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Undertale, where we just passed through a town called Snowed In. And then we're going to continue on our way. What is this? Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... Dot, dot, dot. No, 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 this is all wrong. I can't be your friend, you're a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Aw, Papyrus blocks the way, but we were gonna be friends. All right, let's check him out. Eight attack, two defense. He likes to say, nya ha ha, he sure does. Nya ha ha. All right, what's he doing here? That's a pretty weak attack. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Uh, flirt, insult. Wow, those are my only options. Those are some shitty options. I'm just gonna go for spare. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Whew, that was a tough attack. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah, <laughs> you're blue now. Huh? Behold! I can jump with the heart. Interesting. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. How high can you jump? I don't know. Pretty high. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez, I have been doing that, Papyrus. My goodness. See? Preparing a bone attack. Don't make me use my special attack. Oof. Whoa. Uh, ow. I can almost taste my future popularity. How long do we have to do this? Holy crap. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Whoa, oh, that's a toughie. Ooh. Unparalleled Spaghettator. Woo. Oops. Holy crap, this is tough. Undyne will really be proud of me. You forgot, yeah, ha, ha. Oh, shit, I ran into that one. He's cackling. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. I bet he will. Oh, crap, really? Shit. I'm not even reading his stuff anymore. Urgh! Ow. How do I not die here? Hmm. I have lots of admirers, but... Ow. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Might have to use an item here. How will I know if my people sincerely like me? 
I should probably buy some more health items. I obviously need it. Whoa, that one moves. Whoa, they move. Someone like you is really rare. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck is going on? You God, no. Oh, my God. Uh, butterscotch pie. Had to. I don't think they'll let you go. Oh. <sighs> After you're captured and sent away. Oh God, really? It took too long to get them on the screen. Oh, I got hit both of those. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? God oh, damn, this is tough. This is really tough. Give up or face my specialist. I'm trying to give up. Oh, crap. Crap, I got hit twice. Very soon I will use my special attack. He's hit me almost every time. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Smells like bones. This is your last chance before my special attack. Okay, good. Behold, my special attack. It's a dog with a bone. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> it took the bone. Come back here with my special attack. <laughs> oh, well. I'll use a really cool regular attack. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa, wow, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Oh. Oh shit. What is even going on? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what is going on? Well, uh, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Ah, delicious coffee. All right, you hoo hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend Quandy will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. No, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I have friends. And who knew that all I needed was to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern, then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magic old steel trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with a soul, with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass 
through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Dr. Dreamer, or Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> oh, he looks so happy. He looks so happy. Can't go up there? Okay. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. -ha. This is an echo flower. It, rep it repeats the last thing it, it heard over and over. Okay. This is an echo flower. Neat, huh? <laughs> All right. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries? Burger? Give me a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? Of my brother. Cool? Yeah, he's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Ah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was the midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give the war give him warrior training. It's uh still a work in progress. Hmm. I agree. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Sure. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> okay. I 
don't know what that is. Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper! I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. <laughs> Sans is the most regular regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. Sans is interesting. He has told me about all kinds of incredible food. But despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. Sanzi, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. Pass the libra librarby? So you came back to see me! You must be really serious about this! I'll have to take you really someplace special. A place I like to spend a lot of time! Hmm, where are we going, Papyrus? Uh... My house! Okay... This is my brother's pet rock! He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to be, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Can you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. I like gold. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Oh, that's a sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Welcome to Scenic House. Oh, welcome to Scenic My House? I don't get it. Enjoy and take care of your time. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but empty bags of chips. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. What about this book? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, tell me some jokes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. What's up, Sans? The door is locked. Aw. That's my room! If you've finished looking around, we could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Go inside, sure. He's got a race car bed, nice. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it was basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always spending 
always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Oh, it's not your font, is it? That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Begin the hangouts. Okay. Okay, let's hang ten. Oh, we're gonna fight. Okay. Hangout start! Here we are, hanging out. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library. <laughs> we're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for friendship HUD. What? Crime. Reel it in. Population. Egg. And some type of radar with a dog on. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them to hang out. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will hang out with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Dot, dot, dot. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. And not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning. Yes. Oh my God. He's, he's stunned. No, you planned it all. You're way better at hanging out than I am. <laughs> No, your friendship power. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold. Cool dude. Now what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine compliment. Friendship meter, go. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further unless you find my secrets. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. All right, let's check your shoes. Z. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. What's under the hat? My hat. My hat. My hat. Yeah. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. It's spaghetti. <laughs> right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflexive, reflexive, reflexively scrunches up. 
The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. Hmm. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool a little bit. Cool it a little bit. You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends. But I think you can reach your max potential. If you live more for your own sake, rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss, Undyne. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> That was hilarious. You still got a locked door over here? Sure do. I steal your pet rock. Nope, can't steal it. Is the dog still in the uh, box? No, it's empty. Okay. But I think we're out of time for the episode today. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. We made a friend. Oh, they, they didn't have a pirate flag outside the house, too. Look at that, on the roof. We made a friend. And uh, they got a lot of mail. Holy crap. I'll see you next time for more adventures in Undertale. Bye-bye.